Hey there, Disney fans. Welcome back to D&T's La La Land. You might have heard of drinking around Epcot, but today we're going to go snacking around Epcot. Get ready to explore the tastiest treats from around the world as we share our top snacking picks you won't want to miss. So grab your appetite and join us on this culinary journey that's sure to make your taste buds dance with the delight. Let's get snacking! Hey friends, Tina Lala here, and today we're going to do one of my favorite things in Epcot, snack. Epcot has 11 countries for you to take a culinary journey through. Today we're going to go on a snacking adventure, exploring the lip-smacking snacks available at each country pavilion. Now everyone has their favorites, but these are some of our favorites. Get ready for some delicious dishes. We're going to start our snacking around the world up to the right at Canada. At the refreshment port, which is a quick service, they have the best poutine. I don't know what it is about these french fries drizzled with a garlic herb sauce and huge cheese curds, but they are always delicious. And for $10, the price is great. Even though they're covered in the sauce, the french fries are still crunchy and the cheese curds are soft and melt in your mouth. Such a great start. And the size that you get is definitely shareable. Next, we head over to the United Kingdom to the Yorkshire County Fish Shop for some fresh traditional fish and chips. The beer batter fish is lightly breaded and there's a great piece of fish inside. It sits on top of a large serving of crispy fries and is only $13.49. The piece of fish is definitely big enough to share and still leave you ready to eat more. Now there's a lot of pastries to eat at France, but what we like to snack on is over at L'Artisan de Glace, and it is the Croque Glace. This is a delicious scoop of your choice of ice cream, lightly drenched with your choice of rich, thick sauce, topped on a homemade brioche, and then squeezed into a warm press. The brioche is warm and light and hugs the ice cream just enough so that when you bite into it, it just starts melting in your mouth. It's a hundred times better than any ice cream sandwich I've ever had. And given the size of it for $9.50, it is a great deal for a delicious and really unique snack. The Oasis Sweets and Sips shop is a diamond in the rough in Morocco, where you will fill your nostrils with spices and aspirations. I love their baklava. There's so much flavor in this little piece. They have cashew, walnut, and pistachio options, but my favorite is the pistachio. What I love about the Oasis Sweet and Sip Shop is that it, they allow you to pick a few items for a reasonable price. You can pick three pieces for $6.75, five pieces for $11.50, and seven for $15.75. Very reasonable, and it gives you a great variety of sweets to pick from, so you can really get a great taste of Morocco. Head over to Japan and make your way past the anime toys, beyond the chopsticks and teapots and kimonos, and all the way at the back is the Mitsukoshi department store where the real Japanese goodies are found. This department store is a collection of the snacks you would get in Japan. What we love to do here is give each person a set dollar amount where they have to pick something that they have never had before. What's so great is that there are so many flavors in the Japan culture that aren't in most people's environment, so there's so much to choose from. I usually get these ginger candies at $8, and they're a great spicy piece of candy to snack on. We've tried apple marshmallows, matcha rice cakes, so much to try, but it can be a little bit like trick-or-treating, so buyers beware. There's this little tiny white building that looks like a place you can get maps or something at outside the American Pavilion. But don't be fooled, this octagonal building sells the most scrumptious funnel cakes I have ever had. The cakes are light and fluffy and the delicious toppings are bursting with flavor. Plus, there's so much in each serving you'll want to share. There's the candied bacon funnel cake topped with vanilla ice cream with a maple syrup drizzle that's to die for. Or you can try the cookies and cream funnel cake, sweet and rich. During festivals, you can get a variety of funnel cakes like strawberry, blueberry, and even a pina colada funnel cake.
There's always room for ice cream, and in Italy, it's gelato. Its creamy, decadent, milky texture is so much more richer than ice cream. And the gelato over at Gelateria Toscana is the best. They have a great selection of gelato to choose from, which you can get in a cup for $8.50. You can even put it in between two chocolate chip cookies for the most incredible ice cream sandwich. Germany was a tough one for us to pick just one, but I went with Disney traditional jumbo pretzel over at Summerfest for only $11.29. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but this pretzel is huge, like bigger than your head. And it comes with either a cheesy sauce or a spicy mustard, depending on what you pick. It's super soft and a beautiful exterior color and light and chewy inside. And it's terrible, so you can actually eat it on the go. This is also a perfect vegan option for anyone because it's plant-based. China has a limited variety of snack options, but one that is always good are the pork egg rolls at Lotus Blossom Cafe for $5.25. Now, the Lotus Blossom Cafe is tucked away in the China Pavilion, and it's not usually crowded, so it's a great place to stop and get a quick snack without a wait. Plus, there are places to sit, which any chance to let your tired feet have a break is a good place to me. These egg rolls are fried to a crispy golden brown, but they're not too greasy. And the vegetable filling is fresh and plentiful of great flavor and not too heavily fried. We're a bit prejudiced to the treats at Norway because this is where Megan worked during her Disney college program. And we know everything is amazing at Kringle Bakery Cafe. One of the most popular snacks is the school bread, which is filled with rich vanilla custard topped with sweet icing and toasted coconut for $4.79. The bread, which could fit in the palm of your hand, is light, and there's a good amount of sweet vanilla custard, so it allows the icing and the coconut on top to complement each other and not make it too sweet. The bread is big enough to split and share, so find a friend. Pop over to La Cantina de San Angel to the quick service spot and pick up your favorite tacos, empanadas, and maybe a margarita. A great option they have is a taco trio for $15.50, which gives you a really good variety for your family. The trio gives you a barbocca fish and chicken tacos with a side of rice and black rice and of course queso. You can substitute the beans with double rice if you want to. The fish taco with slaw and habanero aioli is amazing. The fish was lightly battered and deep fried with a mild moist white fish inside. The slaw with habanero aioli was tasty and added a really good crunch that the taco needed. The barbocca taco was filled with shredded beef, cilantro, and red salsa. It had this amazing flavor. The beef was seasoned well, and it was just a very tasty taco. The chicken taco was filled with marinated grilled chicken, red salsa, and fresh cilantro. This taco trio is such a great combination. There's a harmonious ratio of toppings to corn tortilla, which makes each one a great bite. This is a quick service, but it has a great sitting area, and if you're lucky enough to grab your snack during fireworks time, you will have an amazing view of the lagoon. We did it! We snacked all around World Showcase! Great job, everybody! I'm stuffed. I know what you're thinking, though. Don't worry. A full lap around World Showcase is 1.2 miles, so I'm sure we worked off for at least half of these snacks. If you hadn't noticed, a lot of our snacks were things you could share. Here's a Tina tip. As a family of four, we usually buy just one serving and share it between us to make the snacking affordable and to help us save room for more. With all of these options in total, they equal just over $100. And if you figure that's 11 snacks, that's really $10 a piece, which is pretty good for our pocketbook. I see it for our family of four, that's $25 per person, which is about the cost of a lunch at Disney, but not just a burger and chicken nuggets that you could get at home. We went on a culinary journey through 11 countries, and I'm sure someone tried something they had never had before. I hope we've shown you some incredible new snacks for you to try on your next Epcot trip. Thank you for joining us on this delightful journey through Epcot's tempting snacks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more mouth adventures. Until next time, happy snacking!